What's up, Denny Geek fans? This is Chris Longo here at New York Comic Con 2023. I'm here with a very special guest, Paul Zamorelli of CGC Home Video. That's right. And you guys are right at the heart of it, the CGC booth here. Tell us a little bit about what you got going on uh, during New York Comic Con. So I'm the senior finalizer of CGC Home Video, and what we do is we take VHS submissions and we'll grade uh, your videotapes, certify them as authentic. We'll also determine which variants of the video you have, the condition of the seal, uh, the watermark date, all those sort of details that no one else really looks at or cares about other than the diehard video collectors. It's, like, it's been a really like emerging market for the VHS uh, for you guys. Can you tell me a little bit about what you're hearing from collectors as you get to kind of have that face time with them here at New York Comic Con. So a lot of people are interested in this new vertical that we have here at CGC and uh, they never thought that they'd ever, ever see like their old VHS tapes that they had forgotten about. Many people have even thrown out, out their tapes, you know, they just upgraded to like DVD, Blu-ray. Um, but yeah, they're, they're shocked that, you know, people are actually grading these things, uh, which is amazing. And uh, we're always getting like really cool stuff coming in. So it's really exciting to see all this fresh stuff coming in. Yeah. The thing I love about us kind of talking to CGC over the years is that you guys are fans at heart and you guys are collectors at heart. And we got to hear a little bit about your collectible story. Um, so for the fans at home, you tell them a little bit about your experience as a collector of VHS. So I've been collecting uh, video cassettes for about 20 years. Started with, with really obscure, weird horror movies. Uh, so a lot of these movies went out of print in the 90s, and the only way to get them was on VHS. That's really how I built up my collection, just trying to find these really offbeat movies that weren't on DVD at the time, where they never re-released it on VHS. And so from that, I just amassed this huge collection of these really weird, strange movies. And um, from there, I just became very familiar with VHS and Betamax, of course, all those home video formats, and uh, just started to collect a lot of data, cataloging them, and trying to determine all the different variants, and uh, just fell in love with it. I feel like, as you were saying that, I got the rush of, like, the nostalgia of walking in the Blockbuster, smelling the popcorn, oh, going yeah. to pick out a, a good VHS. Um, where, I mean, what's, you know, what's one, uh, what's a holy grail in your collection as far as VHS goes? Like, is there something that you haven't got your hands on yet that you're dying to get your hands on, and then, uh, the other side of that is what's your favorite piece in your collection? Right, so there's really two communities of VHS collectors. There's the more traditional horror VHS collectors. That's where I come from. And so one of my prized possessions would be a horror movie called Tales from the Quadet Zone, Mom is Home, uh, a lot of these really weird offbeat movies, Savage Intruder from Unicorn Video. Most people wouldn't have heard of these movies uh, unless they are a VHS collector uh, as well. Uh, so those are some of my favorites. As far as the more mainstream titles that are going for like a lot of money, those would be like Sealed, Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, Media Home Entertainment, or like an early first release of Halloween. Uh, those are like some of my favorites, but we've seen uh, first releases, uh, first prints of Back to the Future go for a lot of money recently, and uh, we've seen those go for like five figures now, so. So it is spooky season, and speaking of Nightmare on Elm Street, we have this amazing Nightmare on Elm Street 2 uh, <laughs> VHS that's <laughs> right. circulating, <laughs> circulating over there. Could you tell us a little bit about the actual like grading process uh, for some of these VHS tapes and what people can expect from that? So first we look at the seal, if it's sealed, and we do get a, mostly the submissions that we get are sealed videotapes. Um, we'll look at the seal, we'll look at the condition, we'll see if it has holes, scratches, scuffs, and we'll give it a letter grade. After that, we'll give an overall box grade. And um, we look at the corners, we look at creases, we look at fading. Um, we'll, all those bits and pieces of damage all contribute or determine the grade. We're kind of talking to collectors here at New York Comic Con, um, you know, is there, have you heard some really cool personal stories about like what you know, getting this stuff graded and kind of displayed means to them? Like, what's what's something that kind of stands out to you in terms of your interaction with fans when you come to events like this? Well, some people like the displayability of our cases. And so what we do see, which was surprising to me, is a lot of, like, videos that they've had from their childhood. It doesn't have a lot of, like, value on the market, but they just like to protect it and have it in a displayable case. Um, so yeah, I find that to be pretty interesting with a lot of the stuff that are coming in. Um, some people just, uh, we had a guy that came in and just had these Star Wars tapes that he got from a Salvation Army for like 75 cents. Never opened them, had them all these years. And uh, I think that's kind of neat, little things like that. Um, might not have a tremendous bit of value, but he loved them nonetheless to keep them all these years. So I thought that was neat. Awesome. Thank you so much for taking some time today. I'm sure next time when we chat with you, your collection's gonna grow just a little <laughs> bit bigger. Um, it's always a pleasure talking to CGC, so thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Thanks.
What's up, Denny Geek fans? Chris Longo here again at the CGC booth at New York Comic Con. We are we are in the mecca right now. We are in the center of collectibles with Sean Caffrey. He's, I heard you're the modern grading guru. I am the head modern grader at CGC Comics. Yes, that's a better title. Okay, <laughs> that's great. Well, great to meet you. Good to great meet to you have too. Here at New York Comic Con, and we want to talk a little bit about. What do you got in your hands here? This It's show and tell time here at New York Comic Con. We have some really cool uh, items on display. One right here I have is a Berserker. Special foil Beauty. cover right here. It's graded 9.8. And if, can you grab that for me right there? Yeah. And then we have some cool surprises throughout the weekend too. We have guests that come and send sign. And yesterday we had Rob Liefeld at our booth. And as you can see, I have a Deadpool right here for an example. That's signed by Rob Liefeld with his, uh, his artist signature too. It's where he beautiful. has a cool little shadow. I love and it. And these are on display at our booth on all our showcases over here. Come on by and check it out. I heard you got some cool uh, kind of like show exclusives for fans here. Yes. Tell us a little bit about what kind of how you can customize. Absolutely. So when you come and you submit books, you get a chip. And you, you cash the chip in and you can get a gift bag with some goodies inside. And there's also, if you um, take a picture of the CGC booth and tag at CGC Comics, uh, you, you get a drawing. And depending on what color pin you pull out, you can get a t-shirt, uh, a sweatshirt. There's really cool swag here to give away. Fantastic. Well, I want to learn a little bit about your personal collecting story. What kind of got you into the world of comics and how has kind of working for CGC evolved your collection personally? When I, when I first started, I bought to read. Uh, my best friend got me into superhero books and I just bought him to read them. And so I would buy pretty much ever, anything ever the sun, under the sun, but I was a big horror fan. So I would buy a lot of the, uh, the obscure horror books, a lot of like the 80s stuff, like, uh, like Nightmare on Elm Street, that kind of stuff, and uh, uh, Chamber of Chills, um, Twisted Tales from Pacific Comics. And then when I, once I got into this 23 years ago, yes, that's how long I've been here, 23 years, um, I started getting into really paying attention to the grade of the books, with grades being so important. So I started upgrading my collection and then buying nicer copies of the books that I had when I was a child. So you've seen that really the evolution of CGC like over these last 20 plus years. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, tell me a little bit about kind of just the fan interaction and like what you guys kind of get out of having that like community engagement, that community element here at shows like New York Comic Con. You know, it, there's, there's multiple sides to it. One of the sides is, you know, helping people get the signatures, which is so much fun. Having witnesses go with them to meet their idols, to meet their fans, getting their books signed and then authenticated. Um, but then also helping people with their collections, people not knowing what they have, how much money they're worth, being able to help people preserve, sell. It's really cool being a part of that community. Yeah. And for, for fans, like uh, definitely some of the younger fans here in New York Comic Con, like myself, last, over the last couple of years, I've grown my collection and been more curious about how I can get my stuff authenticated, how I can get it created. Um, tell me a little bit about how you kind of coach uh, maybe people that are newer to comics creating through at shows like this, because it's kind of that hands-on experience where it might be maybe a little bit overwhelming online for someone that's completely yeah, new to it. Absolutely, so we try and get out there as much as possible. We do grader videos, we post online. Um, we also had a grading academy where we taught people how to grade, but at shows like this, myself and Matt Nelson, the president, will come out and we'll do um, meet the graders, so to speak, where you can come with your collections, come up, um, actually I'm gonna be starting shortly, and they bring their books and I kind of go over with them and teach them and educate them about the grading and what defects take down from what of books. That's awesome. Yeah. So last question here, what's your holy grail? What's not in the collection right now that needs uh, to be in the collection? A turtle's number one. Yeah? Yeah. But I think I've been outpriced from that market, so. Someday. We <laughs> Someday. can dream. We can dream. <laughs> we can dream. Awesome. Well, Sean, thank you so much Absolutely. for taking the time today. We really appreciate it. We love coming by the CGC Yeah, booth. great having you. Thank you. you. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks.